Hello, everybody, and welcome to... I don't even know what number this is. Who cares? Six, Video show! Six, seven, something around there. Eight. One day we'll check before we start this, and we'll go from there. Is it five? No. Oh. I don't know. Anyway, Nolan Nerds, I'm Matt. Either. I'm Chris. And we're the only ones here because Scott decided... Oh! To... What? What was that? I don't know. I'm excited. Don't... Okay. Uh... So ridiculous. <laughs> this show is going to be all about the breaking announcement of what DC is doing in September. Yeah, they're releasing in September. Every book is going to get an issue zero, which is going to detail the origin of the character. The one the year team. anniversary of the reboot. Yep. Also, we get four new books. Wave three. Hot on the heels of Wave 2, which was G.I. Combat, mm -hmm. Ravagers, mm -hmm. Earth 2, World's Finest. and World's Finest. And Dial H. And Dial H, yeah, five. We're only getting four, which, so what are the four getting canceled to replace this? Is well, Justice League International? I think it's Justice League International, and... If there was a god, it'd be Green Arrow. If I had to assume it'd be Green Arrow, Deathstroke... Captain Adam. Cap Rob Liefeld. <laughs> Anything Rob Liefeld touches, I That's guess. probably not true. It's probably gonna be... <laughs> I heard Catwoman might be on the cutting block. Oh, uh, yeah. But, you know, whatever. Something. Three other things are losing because... Uh, we they're... know JLI is one of them. Yep. Confirmed. Yep. Uh, but, yeah. So, let's uh, talk about the four coming out. Well, before we do that, I want to talk about the number zeros. Sure. I like the concept. I mean, you want to mark the event. It's a, It was a big deal in comics. Mm -hmm. And I think bringing in some number zeros is cool. Telling, the, telling some origin stories without having to waste an entire arc or so on origin stories for the characters. It's not even so much going to be an origin story. It's going to be like what led them to whatever started off their book, and I think that's fun. Yeah, I I would rather this have been like a backup in the main book so that they didn't, none of the stories lost momentum. But it is what it is, so I, I'm like, sure it'll work out really well. If I had to hazard a guess, like say Green Lantern Zero, mm -hmm. maybe it would uh, detail just... The, the point right after the Guardians send Hal back to Earth with no ring, and and then be right the time between that and when Sinestro comes calling for him. Something like that. We don't know. Or Teen Titans. Like, uh, what tipped Red Robin off to what they were doing to metahuman teens to start his investigation? Who we, knows? We can hope. I mean, something along those lines. And what's really cool, though, is every cover is a black and white, like, grayed out version, a washed out version of their number one cover with the number zero versions, the younger versions of the characters bursting through it. Yes. It's a cool visual. It does. The, the one they have on, uh, is Batman on the internet Inc. is from Batman Incorporated, and it looks really good. Which is ironic, because that book only has a number one. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, that was another one of the second wave. That was the sixth book. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, if you're going to go big or go home. Yeah, well, you know. But now, on to the four new books coming out for Wave 3. Uh, well, let's talk about the one we're most interested in first. Talon. Talon. Which, the name should tell you right now, awesome. But basically, it's the story of the only Talon to ever escape the Court of Owls. And him trying to live a normal life. And as we all know in the world of comics, or video games, or movies, or anything, when someone tries to live a normal life, it never goes It always planet. turns to shit. So, it's going to be cool. Uh, it's apparently a... Uh, a talent called Calvin Rose. Yeah. So it was written by the guy that, that co wrote the Batman annual, James Tinian the Fourth. Okay. Scott Snyder's doing the plotting on it. So. All right, but all the scripts are written by him. Yes. The Tyrion. Tim that's cool. Tyrion Lannister. That's every time I see his name, that's all I think. I, mean, I know. This his is the name one, is Tinian, but you want to say Tyrion. This is the one I'm this is the other four, this is the one I'm the most hyped about. Um oh, the fact but I'm most hyped in a legit sentence. But I'm I'm only concerned in that this could very easily turn into Asriel territory, <laughs> and nobody wants a repeat of that. But I'm optimistic, because I think if Scott Snyder's driving the overall plot, even, then even it's if, be Yeah, fun. exactly. Even if he's just tangently involved, you know, it's going to be solid. Exactly. Uh, the second book is the one I care the least about. Agreed. But, you know, I've, 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 been, I've been burned before, not... Caring about a book without at least giving it a shot, so you know we're going to read it to at least let you know about. It. It's called Sword of Sorcery, and it's essentially the Amethyst Princess of Gemworld book. Yeah, who I only know from Crisis on Infinite Earths from the eighties. I only know her because she's getting a showcase later this year. Is she? Yeah, You're I keep buying, aren't you? No, nope, I keep track of all the showcases. Fair enough. You love your showcases. You know, there's a Rip Hunter Time Hunters showcase. I kind of want to get that because I loved him in Booster Gold. It's not the same. I know. It'll be like the Sea Devils, who are also getting oh, a showcase. 
They don't deserve a showcase. Cape Carlson and the, and the cave people. I hate you. I know. Uh, that one's being written by Christy Marks. And Aaron LaPrestri, who oh, is God. doing Justice League International. Um, well, it's nice that they kept him on for work. Yeah. Christy. Oh, it sounds like we're going to get a new female yeah. uh, writer. Diversity. Hey, I mean, they need it. Yeah, I mean, whatever. It's, it's a Princess of Gem World. I don't know anything about it. I kind of don't even care from this It's setup. a non-entity. Like, going into it, I, I'm, it's going to be like how I felt with Resurrection Man or Dial H or any of those books that it doesn't interest me in the least at the beginning until, but then I'm going to give it a shot, and who knows? It might win us over. Yeah, it sounds bad. Like, the, like the, the press release just sounds uninteresting, but it might surprise us. We'll see. It also has a backup She's story. She's being hunted by her murderous aunt. It's, it's a backup, it has this backup story by Tony Bedard and his Jesus. size. And it's going to be Grendel and Beowulf in a post-apocalypse. Sure, why not? Sounds badass. I like Tony Bedard. We He's do. good peeps. We do. Uh, the Jesus third Sides one. Too, the so. third one is this one I'm second most interested in because it's spinning right out of the uh, the the end of Arc One of Justice League and the New Fifty Two Free Comic Book Day book. Uh, it's going to follow Phantom Stranger, which means I feel we're also going to get tie-ins with uh, the Question and Pandora as well. It is uh, it is also written by Dan DiDio, and he. Which I think you would want to give him a shot because he wrote Omac. Yeah, I mean, it's. It's going to be intriguing, and I'm going to at least check out the first issue or so. I love Phantom Stranger. We'll see. You do. We'll see. I understand you're reticent because of money, yes. but you're going to give it a shot because you like Phantom Stranger. And, we'll, and Danny DiDio actually showed he could actually write something with Omac, so maybe he'll surprise us again. You know, I'm not going to lie, though. He actually had another good one when he wrote that one shot for Blackest Night where it was like the... Uh, Jonah Hex? Yeah. That was a good one, too. And I had no idea about anything. But he also did it. Batman and the Outsiders when it came limping to the end. Did it? Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, he had, to, he had to get back into the groove of things, I guess. What are you doing? Moving in closer. Why? No Why one wants to see that. Stop it. Stop it. I will stab you. I don't want you to. Okay. Okay. And finally is another book that just sounds interesting because in the sense that this is a... Uh, it's set in the early days, like Arc 1 of Justice League or Action Comics. So you know that in current day, something happened to cause this book to no longer exist concept-wise. In the five it's years called, of the Justice League. It's called Team 7. And it's what the human response was to Superman emerging and announcing himself to the world. So I have to think it might have been masterminded by Lex Luthor or something because it's basically the humans going like, oh shit, that is way too powerful. We need to have some countermeasures. So it also kind of reminds me of the Seven Soldiers. I'm from what I've read in the comments on the internet. This is uh, this is like an, a Wildstorm book. Okay, it's an old Wildstorm. Book well, what's cool is back. when you look at the people involved in it. You've got Dinah Lance, so you've got Black Canary, Amanda Waller. Steve Trevor, which means this is before his liaison with Wonder Woman and everything. Or in the beginning of it. Uh, John Lynch. I don't know who that is. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's Metallo. Is it? Okay. I don't know. Alex Fairchild. who no, we John Corbin. Excuse me. Uh, Alex Fairchild, who we now know is from Ravagers, and she was part of Nowhere, but she was a covert agent going undercover as a double agent. I thought that was Caitlin Fairchild. Is it? Yeah. Damn. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to look it up right now. John Lynch is pulling up nothing He's on... He's pulling up a football player. So I'm assuming... Uh, he was a linebacker for the uh, <laughs> the people. I'm assuming he might be a new character. Cole Cash is a uh, grifter. Is it? Yeah. Okay. And Slade Wilson, of course. Of Death course, Trip. is Destro, which that makes me really happy because maybe we can get some good things. All right, Alex Fairchild um, from Comic Books. Former member of Team 7 and father of the Gen 13 members Fairchild in Freefall. Yep. He manifests strong psionic abilities. Yep. So there we go, that guy. It is a Wildstorm book. Cool. I'm fine with it. I like the concept. Seven badasses trying to plot against Superman in case he goes rogue. Yeah. It's basically what Lex Luthor does all the time. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give this a shot, but I don't know. So basically, the only one you're guaranteed to buy right out is Talon. Yes. But you're going to read the rest. Yes. And, I, and of the other two, Phantom Stranger heads out over the Team 7 because Sword of Sorcery doesn't even get a boat. Nope. Uh, mine are Talon is a definite. Uh, Phantom Stranger is, for me, probably going to be a definite because I'm intrigued. Ever since Free Comic Book Day, I love what they're doing with that. 
Uh, Team 7 concept alone it warrants a look. And Sword of Sorcery is going to be read by us only because we have a duty to you to let you know how they are. And that is that is what we do for you guys. But it is. that is basically our breakdown of the announcement by DC about Wave 3 books and their number zero one year anniversary uh, smorgasbord of stuff. Whatever, shut up. Anyway. I didn't even say a word. You said it with your eyes. Stab your chest. Get away from me, you psycho. Stop it. Stop it. End the show. I don't want to. I'm mad. Uh, we'll talk about our social media. Shut Why do you hate our social media? All right. So you know we never have time. Well, now we're talking. Okay. Now we've got a luxurious four minutes to talk we about. We do. Uh, go to Twitter. Follow us on Twitter at Nolan Nerd Podcast. Like us on the Facebook at Nolan Nerd Podcast. It's not the Facebook. It is the now Facebook. Now I know why Kevin hates you. Whatever. Anyway, uh, go to our YouTube channel. You're on the YouTube channel. This is the YouTube <laughs> channel. Uh, email us, Nolan Nerd Podcast at gmail.com. Any of your questions or comments that you email us will be read live on our next uh, audio show, which is uh, either on nolanerdpodcast.lipson.com, or you can just go Google Nolan Nerd Podcast. We are also free on iTunes, so feel free to rate and subscribe to us because we are awesome and we want you to tell us how you like us. Or don't like us. What are you doing? Stop it. Showing Mason to the world. I hate you. No one wants to see Mason. I know. Mason doesn't even want to be heard on his own video game podcast he does with us. Stop it. Hi, Mason. Uh, God, I hate creepy. you. Why do you ruin things? I'm, All right, I'm Matt. I'm Chris. And we're nerds, and we will see you shortly with our E3 breakdowns.